So here we are. There's no turning back now. <clears throat> I've cut out everything that is significantly rusted. I've kept these mounting points here because everything is, is totally solid past this point. I figure I'm going to grind all this down, get this all flat and out of here. Here you can see I cut right there. Kept this back part because it's all solid. And I'm just going to cut the new rocker to fit this truck. And then I'll kind of stick it in there. Um, I, this is kind of the easiest way I've seen to do it because if I would have cut all this out, it just been, would have been a ton more work. And there's really nothing wrong with the metal in here. Um, you know, there's some surface rust, but like I said, most of it is its totally solid. All the rot itself is gone. This is just loose dust. This can be treated or sanded down or patched, probably patched. Um, but there's a lot of good metal in here that I just thought would be a huge waste of time to cut out. So I'm going to cut the new rocker, get rid of the excess, and then just kind of fit it in like a puzzle piece until it's close. Um, you know, I can always grind or cut more of this away, but I think where we're at right now is, is pretty good. This I might have to cut a little bit higher. There's some structural interior steel here that we're going to keep on the new rocker, but I think we're pretty much good to go on this side. Let me show you what I'm talking about under here. It's just a huge... See, there's just a lot of bends, there's a lot of metal, there's a lot of parts. And this is all good, so there's really no sense in cutting it all out. So I'm just using as much as the truck as possible. So there's just less work on that end. So this is all cut out, and I'm going to cut the new rocker and kind of see how it fits. And then hopefully tack it in place, and then uh, do all the finish welding after that.